Welcome back everybody to this new video to Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started with a MailChimp in just 10 minutes. So whether you're looking to send newsletter, managing email campaigns, or grow your audience, MailChimp has got you covered. So let's just dive in. The very first thing you want to do is to understand the actual MailChimp application. Now MailChimp is a popular email marketing platform that can help you to manage and talk to your clients customers and other interest the parties it's simple to use and packed with powerful features with that being said now let's check it out and create our very first account you have the link down below in the description guys so we can all get started totally for free so to start by creating an account here into mailchimp go into the link provided to down below in the description enter your email as well as a passcode then what you want to do is to follow the prompts to complete your registration then you need to verify your account in order to submit the verification code and then you're actually good to go. Once you are logged in, the first thing you need to do is to set up your audience. So your audience is where you all your context lives. Click into the audience section in the main menu and click into create audience. But not by first understanding how to get started with a MailChimp. So you focus here into the hub. We have to here the upgrade section. I'm going to focus only into free version. Into the free version, we have the campaign section where we can manage all our campaigns of MailChimp. We have the automation that can be helping us to make pre-built journeys on automated and personal elements. We have the audience where we can manage everything about our presence here. Analytics that can be helping us to check out all the reposts and all of them. And now what we can do is to focus, of course, into the content. The content is everything we do have about our creative assistance, the files, email templates, branding, and lastly, the integrations. To make this much more efficiently, we can connect MailChimp with, for example, Canva. We can use WooCommerce and so much more elements. So now to get started, let's first start to import our audience. So here into the pod, let's go here for audience. And here have the audience dashboard. Inside the audience dashboard, you can see that we have a total of two customers here. To get starting and adding more person directly into your context, let's go here into the right part that says view context. So as you can see, we have one, two context here. What I'm gonna be doing here is to go and add a new context. You can import a context or add a single context. If you already have a, let's say for example, like a based of content, what you can do is to import them from a CSV or a tab delivery TXD file. Or what you can do is to import quotes automatically from tools you already used. In this case, let's say for example, that I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do this manually. So you go for got it, add context and add a single context. So I wanted to do this, uh, let's say easily, here is one email, here is the first name, here's the last one, and here into the address, I'm going to just leave this as it is and go for a postal code, really simple. Now the country, really important to choose the country of this person. Here's the phone number. I'm going to do something um, really random. There we go. And the birthday, let's go for something like this. Lastly, if you want to add different tags to help you important and track the quality of the content for checking out leading campaigns and all of that, you can go here into add a text. In this case, I'm going to go here now into add the content. Now, I'm going to focus down here and go for add contact once again. And I can view the view contact profile. So then what we're going to do is to create our very first email campaign. If you go back here into all your contact, you can see that here we have three email address already been added. If you wanted, of course, to use this on use, for example, like one uh, overview of it, what you can do is to go and create a new segment of those. In this case, I'm going to just leave this as it is go back and let's say it start with our email campaign and so the love pod instead of audience let's click directly here into campaigns and click into the section that says all campaigns now in here you can see that we have all different campaigns to get started let's go here into the option that says create here into create you can choose the type of email you want to send for this example we create a regular email you can of course use a landing page or create a journey but let's go for designing an email now here the MailChimp offers a drag and drop email designer that's easier to use. So to make this much more faster, we can of course use an actual template to all start from scratch. Today we're going to be schooled starting from scratch. So make sure that here into two, I'm going to go for edit the recipient. And you can add to all the subscribers into the audience or into a specific person who is into the text. So in this case, I'm going to go for all my subscribers, the not send to. And of course, let's go and personalize here. Merge tag, let's go for a file name and go for save. 
Now into the form, from, I is gonna be really important to be myself. Now into the subject, let's say for example to go here, and this is the part where you want her to get started with my subject. Let's say for example, welcome the word. There we go. I can add an emoji if I wanted to, to make this look much more interesting here. You got a point axis, the space is limited, emojis are great, small quantity, short and sweet. So based on best practices, guys. Now into the preview the text, let's say for example, here is a 10% discount for you. And now here, I'm gonna try to add something related to, uh, with money or with what I chose here. So go for here, go for save. Now, to send time, you can choose to send this now or to choose to send this later. In this case, I'm gonna just leave this as it is, so I'm gonna try this later. And now into the content. This is the part where I wanted to design my email. So if I choose this section that says this sign email, here you can see that we are now inside the MailChimp template. We can start with a coding or a draft email. In this case, I'm gonna go for a MailChimp template. And here, I wanted to focus here into the right side that says free template only going to be really important if you don't want her to pay extra for it. So I enable this and as you can see we do have a few elements that are totally for free. So in my case I want to start with something truly easy. Let's say for example this one and I go for apply. Inside the application now you can see that here's the preview of our elements. So as you can see what we can do now is to start editing elements. For example here it says add image. I'm going to go here and add my image. And of course, add a section where I would like to insert directly there. So here, usually we have a specific logo. If you don't have a logo, you can go here into replace my logo, go into upload, upload, and of course, make sure that you have an image that has no background. And of course, it is a PNG file. PNG file can be helping you to track and add images with no background. So make sure they have a really high quality and head now into the upload. Once your image has now been successfully uploaded, what I wanted to do now is to make sure it actually looks great. Now the size original, I can make this smaller if you want to, or if don't, just leave it as it is. In this case, I'm gonna just leave this here. And now I'm gonna scroll a little bit down. It is time to design your email. I'm gonna click here, and let's say the welcome vote. And go for, we have a special uh, let's say price or reward for you, right? And then what you can do in my case, what I wanted to do of course is to add a 10% discount on the whole uh, website. And my code, it should be added later. In my case, I'm gonna just um, add it directly into my posts. In my case, I'm going to add this directly into my content. So into my content, I have coding, product, application, service, logo, divider, header, and more and more layouts. So let's go and look out for app. And here I'm going to look out for application or a product. You can add one product if you want to manually or automatically. So see, in this case, I wanted to cause add a product that I have added a few minutes uh, before. And I'm gonna move this down here. There we go. So here's the button text. I'm gonna go for ref. And my web should be, let's say, coolcats.click. So I copied it. I go back and I paste my link. So here, what I need to do is to make this look much more interesting. And there we go. It says add the button text. I scroll all the way down, or I just double click. If you want to add your socials, you can just do it in here. Now, if I go for my logo, I replace the logo and browse my images that I have just uploaded. In this case, the one that we have just used before, I go for insert, and there we go. This is the part where you can get started with automation. Now, automation helps you send target emails based on user behavior. So if I go into save and exit, what we can do is to now go back directly into the dashboard of the MailChimp and do some automations. First of all, what I need to do, of course, is to preview and test my stuff. Before sending your email, let's go into the upper side and go for preview. So I go for send a test email. I send a test email to myself and I send it to make sure it has no issue there. It looks really great. And of course, there's no uh, replies or any feedback that actually looks wrong. I'm going to hit into OK. 
let's go into my Gmail account and let's make sure that I have received an actual test of the MailChimp. I can go into the spam folder and here it is. So as you can see, it says text, test, welcome aboard. Here's a 10% discount for you. Please email your browser, welcome aboard. So as you can see, this one actually looks as a spam because this is just an example. You might want to make sure that you have an actual email from your company in order to make sure it actually looks right. Now, as you can see, what I need to do is to go for report to not spam so I can see this correctly. So as you can see, I have now the 10% here, how to redeem your code, go to the website, got any questions, it actually looked really great. So with that information, now what I can do is to send my email. Once you send your email to the customers, you can go and follow automations. Automation can be helping you to send more elements, for example, welcome new context and so much more. So guys, with that being said, head over to the very end of the video. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more amazing tools how you can get started here using these elements. Thank you so much for watching the video here in the MailChimp. Hopefully you can see you next time.